Hi everyone. In this video, we'll be looking into a game between Grandmaster Arjun Ergaisi and Grandmaster Pragnananda from the semi-finals of Chess Masters Cup. Let's jump right into the game. Arjun, starting with the white pieces, go for 1e4. Prag replies with d5, knight to f3, knight to c6, bishop to b5, a6, bishop to a4, b5, bishop to b3, knight to a5, Arjun goes for castling, d6, rook to e1, knight takes on b3, a takes on b3, g5, d3, g4, knight on f to d2, q to f6, knight to c3, c6, knight to f1, knight to e7, bishop to e3, bishop to g7, q to d2, Rook to b8, rook on e to d1, q to g6, d4, Prague goes for castling, d takes on e5, bishop takes on e5, bishop to f4, h5, bishop takes on e5, d takes on e5, q to d6, q takes on d6, rook takes on d6. So after 21 moves into the game, the queens have been traded off and the match is still continues to be in a balanced position only. And Prague continues with bishop to e6, rook takes on a6, Rook to a8, rook takes on a8, rook takes on a8, f3, g takes on f3, g takes on f3, king to g7, king to f2, rook to a1, rook to d1, rook takes on d1, knight takes on d1, f5, e takes on f5, bishop takes on f5, knight on d to e3, bishop to g6, knight to g3, king to f6, h4, knight to c8, king to e2, knight to d6, king to d2, Knight to b7, king to c3, knight to c5, king to b4, knight to e6, c3, king to e7, knight to e4, bishop takes on e4, f takes on e4, king to d6, knight to f5 with check, king to c7. So once again, after 40 moves into the game, Arjun is ahead of one point of material and he's having that advantage on the bar, evaluation bar as well. And... He continues with knight to g3, knight to f4, king to f5, knight to g2, knight to f5, knight to e1, c4, b takes on c4, b takes on c4, knight to f3, c5, knight to d2, knight to g3. So if you look at this position, after 67 moves into the game, match is again back to balance. The right continuation here for Pragnananda is to put his knight to f3 and attack this pawn. But instead in the game, he will go for king to b7 and this is a mistake. And now after this move, Ergaisi is having a winning advantage of plus 3. And he continues with b4. Knight to b3 with check. King to f4. Knight to d4. Knight takes on h5. Now Ergaisi is upon 2 points of material. Knight to f3. Knight to f6. Knight takes on h4. b5. Knight to f3 b6, knight to g5, king to f5, knight to e6, king to b4, knight to g5, king to c4. Ergaisi was having a small advantage and now it is again back to balance. So there is only one move in this position that will ensure draw for Pragnananda that is putting the king to b8 and keeping an eye on this pawn. Because the king cannot infiltrate through this area. But in the game, Pragnananda move his king to a6 and once again this is a huge mistake and after this move Ergaisi is once again having a winning advantage of plus 3.5. King to d3, knight to e6, knight to d7, king to b7, king to c4, knight to g5, knight takes on e5, knight takes on e4, knight to f7, knight to d2 with check, king to b4, king to c8, knight to e5, king to b7, knight to c4, knight to e4, knight to a5 with check, King to a6, knight takes on c6, knight to f6, king to a4, knight to a4, knight to b4 with check, king to b7, king to b5, knight to c3 with check, king to a5, and it was in this position after some demos into the game. Pragnananda resigned to Arjuna Ergaisi. The reason for resignation is that they have headed into an endgame and Ergaisi is upon two connected pass pawns. So it will be extremely difficult for Pragnananda to defend this position. Stockfish at the depth of 20 is saying that this there is a force mate in 42 moves. Best case scenario for Pragnananda, he, he can try to prolong the game for a few moves, but the result is inevitable. So for seeing that, 
Pragnananda resigned after king to AFI.